Today we're going to learn how to find the slope of a given line given two points. And the formula that we will use today in finding the slope of that line will be m equal to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 all over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So the y ordered pair will always be on top and your x coordinate will be at the bottom or your denominator. Now let's use the formula in finding the slope of our example number one. So for the first example, we need to find the slope of the line given two points. The first point is P, which is 3, 7, and the second point is Q, which is 2, 3. In finding the slope of this particular line given two points using the formula at y sub 2 minus y sub 1 all over x sub 2 minus x sub 1, your first step is to label each of your ordered pair. So for our point P, we have pairs of 3 and 7, so our x will be 3 and y will be 7. So since this is our first set of points, so we'll have x sub 1 for 3 and y sub 1 for 7. And for Q, which is 2 and 3, our second set for X will be X sub 2, which is equal to 2, and Y sub 2 equal to 3. So after you have labeled your points using its ordered pair, we'll be able to use the formula in finding the slope of this line. So M is equal to Y sub 2 minus Y sub 1 all over X sub 2 minus X sub 1. By direct substitution, Y sub 2, which is 3, minus y sub 1, which is 7, all over x sub 2, which is 2, minus x sub 1, which is 3. So we'll have 3 minus 7, all over 2 minus 3. And by simplifying your expression, the numerator will be 3 minus 7, which gives you negative 4, and 2 minus 3 will give you negative 1. And by simplifying your fraction, you'll have 4 or positive 4 as your answer because two negatives makes a positive. So the slope of this line given two points, point P and point Q, is equal to 4. Now what if you interchange your Q and P? So instead of using x sub 1 for 3, you use x sub 1 for 2 and vice versa. Will you still have the same answer if you switch your two points? And the answer is yes. So let's say instead of P as your first set, you use Q as your first set of P's and Q. So since x sub 1 is 2, y sub 1 is 3, and x sub 2 is 3, and y sub 2 is 7, by direct substitution, you will notice that 7 minus 3 is equal to 4, and 3 minus 2 is equal to 1 which gives you positive 4, which is the same answer as our slope on our original problem or solution. So that means you don't need to worry about switching P and Q or Q and P. The only thing that matters is your position for X's and your Y's. So you need to make sure that X and Y is correctly labeled in each of your problems. Now for example number two, let's find the slope of a line passing through points 7 and negative 3 and negative 8 and 1. So we have another two points and we're going to compute or solve for the slope using its formula. So the first set of points we have 7 and negative 3. So x sub 1 is 7 and y sub 1 is negative 3. And for our second set, we'll have negative 8 as our x sub 2 and 1 as our y sub 2. So using the slope formula, by direct substitution, and after labeling your points, we'll have 1 minus negative 3 all over negative 8 minus 7. And we know that two negatives in the middle makes a positive, so we'll end up with 1 plus 3 all over negative 8 minus 7, which gives us 4 all over negative 15. Since 4 over 15 is already in simplest form, our slope is therefore equal to negative 4 over 15.